Hey, here's story number two from our Grafton Correctionals uh, Institution uh, run. So there's another young guy that I've been uh, training with um, for the last month or so and getting to know him a little bit. And um, he was super excited to be able to run in different parts of the prison yard. So the prison itself is surrounded by fences and razor wire and all that, but then they have different pods or different yards within the prison that are usually, you know, kind of locked off and, and um, the inmates can't go there. So they have like the big main yard where they can all go and then there's the rec yard. So the rec yard is, is where we usually do our programming uh, when we're there on Saturdays. So it's like about a quarter of a mile around, maybe a little bit more. So that's where we usually run our loops. But for the race, they opened up not only the rec yard and the main yard, but also this other stretch behind one of the buildings. And this guy told me, he said, I've been here for 18 years and, and actually I'm a lifer. Um, he might get parole, he might not. But in the 18 years that I've been here, I've never been in that part of the prison that I'm gonna get to run in. And I'm like, wow. And he was really excited about that because it was a little taste of freedom for him. It was a little opening up of his restrictions. Now he's there for a good reason, just like all, all the guys there. I'm, I'm sure there may be some guys there that are, that are innocent, but for the most part, you know, all the guys there did something really bad and they're, you know, they're, they're taking on the punishment and they're accepting the punishment for that. But at the end of the day, most of these guys, even this guy that's a lifer, may get out and be our neighbor one day. So we want to help create better neighbors. This is what the warden told me when we first started this program, that he's in the business of creating better neighbors because we want men walking out of the prison to be better neighbors, better human beings, not as angry, not as likely to be um, wrapped up in addiction or with mental health issues. So that's why a program like Running To Be Well is so important because we're giving people other coping skills to when they get out, maybe they won't go off on somebody or maybe they won't go back to addictions. But this young man was so excited about running in that other part of the yard because he'd never done it before, just touched me in such a way because here we take it for granted that I can just walk out and go home and go to my, my family. He can't, right? He's, he's there, he's locked in. And yet he still finds things to be content about. And that's a challenge for me to be content with whatever, whatever I have. And I learned a good lesson uh, the other day, many lessons on that Saturday to be content with what I have. So I hope this helps.